Okay, welcome back everybody. We are uh, back with some more Daggerfall Unity. Whenever we were last watching our adventure of the Scald, who has surprisingly lived to see her, I think her third level. Yeah, yeah, we're at level three. Yeah, we went to a dungeon in Daggerfall right over here. That was called the Nest of Analoth. It seems overwhelmingly populated with spiders from the default Daggerfall game, as well as blood spiders, which are part of the. Oh, oops! <laughs> They're part of the uh, Daggerfall enemy expansion mod. Um, there are a lot of enemies from da Elder Scrolls Arena, the first game, that got ported into Daggerfall using that mod, and this is just one of them. Let's see. So uh, we went there for the Mages Guild. We were trying to do a little bit of questing for them because we want to have decent reputation with them. Oh, um, someone's telling me that I'm scaring away all the deer inside of the city gates. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, yeah, we want to have a decent reputation with the Mages Guild for a number of reasons. Uh, look, there he is. And uh, yeah, the danger of fighting uh, the Daggerfall spiders is that they like to paralyze you and I used my one potion of paralysis so there are not any alchemists here but I have a game plan for how we should combat these uh, paralytic arachnids it's going to be a little bit difficult but we first things first we need to go to an alchemist uh, like any great adventure it starts with stocking up and preparation so we're going to cruise through the wilderness uh, near Whitewood Burrow, which is the city we're in now. Uh, looks like we should dress lighter. By the way, I, I found out last episode whenever I was losing stamina and magicka and things like that uh, is because I'm a Nord and I'm still dressing warmly. So I should actually be dressed down a little bit. I wonder what we... S yeah, okay, that's a bit better. So we're going to get some food here from this tavern, and then we're going to set off. I also found out that we have like a year to pay back our debt, so we aren't really in any rush. Uh, but I would like to um, pay off my debt so I don't have to stick around Daggerfall, or don't have to risk forgetting about our debt in Daggerfall. Anyway, as we come in, three soldiers barge into the inn. Hey, I need a round for me and all my boys! The bravest bunch in all of Daggerfall! I think this usually adds... Yep, here they are. This is an interesting model. Hey, what's up, bro? Why are they fighting? Um, I'm just gonna ignore them and eat some bread and cheese. Uh, let's get a little bit of ale. Actually, let's see if we can... Yeah, bitters should restore our magic SM. Um, I would grab this person's... Uh, their loot, but it seems like they probably want that loot. Yeah, I'm guessing that what happened right there was... Maybe warm ashes populated some like streetwise enemies next to some etiquette enemies, and those are like natural born rivals in the uh, uh, infighting version of Daggerfall, so it's kind of awkward. <laughs> they must have like said some uh, derogatory comment to one another. Oh, a cluster of will the wisps are interrupting our travel. It says I feel somewhat bad, but why? I've actually never fought, this must be Daggerfall enemy expansion also, I've actually never fought Will of the Wisps. Uh, if you've played Oblivion, perhaps you are also traumatized by these things and will understand why I don't want to risk an encounter with them. Okay, it said I feel somewhat bad, is that gonna sh like, am I diseased? Um, let's go to information, I am healthy it says. A cloak would probably keep you from, okay well fine, I guess I'm gonna, do I have a lighter cloak? Uh... I don't have a lighter cloak. Alright, uh, where's the nearest next big city? It looks like it's over here to the uh, east. It's a little bit annoying that I'm getting away from the quest target. How much time do we have? Uh, Evil Wizard, Ancient Scroll... Okay, we have like 11 days, that should be plenty of time. I'll feel more comfortable if we can get at least three potions of free action. That's kind of a lot to ask for in a way, but um, I should dress lighter still. Damn, bro. Okay. Where are the general stores? Yeah, let's just go to it. I I have this version of Real Grasses installed that makes it pixelated. I'm hoping this will reduce the performance requirements and will 
uh, allow us to keep it on during fast travel and things like that. We won't really know for sure, I think, until springtime, whenever the grass really pops out from after the thaw. My stomach is rumbling again. Okay, let's get a new cloak before we do anything else. Oh, we also want a new camp roll or whoop, bed roll, campfire, whatever you want to call it, uh, since the one we have is just about to break. So do you have a lighter? Okay, casual cloak, that's good. Let's buy that. Uh, dude, there we go. Okay, uh, bandages, sure. Uh, new equipment, yeah, let's take it. Let's sell, uh, yeah, it's not really worth much. Oh, I already had a casual cloak, damn it, whatever. All right. Uh, oh, this equipment is called useless. It must actually have broken. Um, let's go ahead and buy some oil also so that we can have a bit more liberty of lighting stuff up inside the dungeon. Um, 10. Hope that's not too heavy. Okay, let's go ahead and visit a tavern on our way out. Tell me, got the rumblies, you feel me? You know what I mean, bro? This is a weirdly shaped building. Has there always been a building with a little diagonal cut to it right there? All right, um, where the, okay. Okay, let's uh, get the schnitzel on. Let's see, where is, I don't know if this place has a mage's guild. I don't really have very good magic skills right now, but I'm wondering if it would be worth it to try to see what sort of restoration skills we could pick up. Maybe we'll look in the next town. Okay, looks like we're back. It's recording again. We're a bit wet again, damn it, bro. Let's, see. Let's do the great cloak, actually. Had too much of the blue casual cloak on my last character. Okay, hood up. Okay, my burden is quite heavy. I wonder why that is. Let's see. It's because I have a bunch of shit. Fair enough. You step on a branch, creating a loud snap that echoes through the air. Huh? Who's there? Some enemies pop out, trying to prevent our travel. Okay, um... So I did a little bit of tinkering with the Warm Ashes Wilderness mod to see if I could reduce a little bit of this wonkiness, but uh, it's really hard to say if what I did caused any change. Uh, we got 78 gold off that body. Uh, let's see if we can try to help out the humanoid here. Then if they're weak enough, we can move on to uh, finishing him off. I don't mean to fight a bear by myself. Um, is there somebody else fighting around here? Huh. Yeah, Alright, got the Spriggan. Let's work on the bears now. Oh, there is one more humanoid. Okay, now are they mad at me? No? I cannot pacify the... Wait, Jimbo? No, not Jimbo. Kicker of Elves, where are you? Did they kill Kicker of Elves? What happened to Kicker? Dude, if I lost my horse just now, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, there's more? Okay. Okay, let's just get out of here while we can. Oh, we should have grabbed the bear meat. Okay, kicker, you're still around? Oh, thank God. 
Um, I'd actually rather just trek across the wilderness than go this way, so let's go here. I use this mod that disables the sort of painting that the province you're in has. Kind of a uh, hostile group of foes. Hellos. They're mounted also, but I think my kicker is a bit faster for whatever reason. Alright, let's hope to get there before sundown. Uh, yep, yep, we just made it. Uh, hey bud. Oh, cool, we have three alchemists to work with. Uh, east of where we're standing, east of where we're standing, east, east, east. Come on, put it on my map. Okay. Need one more to be added to the map, please. Uh, you know, we should, uh, whenever we get the chance, work on, uh, this would require us to be viable and strong a little bit, but we should work on improving our reputation with um, our temple so that we can start buying potions. I don't know when that will become accessible to us, and I, I haven't really looked it up or anything, but it would be a really nice quality of life improvement to be able to buy potions from the same place where I get quests. I think that'll happen later on whenever we've... It's officially nighttime. I think that'll happen later on whenever we have um, settled down in an area that has more temples of Akatosh than what we currently have. I also found out that, you know, in the last episode I got a little bit confused because uh, the temple was listed as the Order of the Hour, which from a lore perspective, this is the knightly order that's associated with um, the Akatosh Chantry. Uh, evidently, according to Glyphworms, there's sort of a mistake that causes some temples to be marked as an order of the hour, even though it's still a temple. So, I am in the faction that I was trying to be in. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, those knightly orders associated with temples are not currently any joinable factions, but there are NPCs who uh, are members of the faction. For example, in the or uh, the what's it called, the Akatosh Chantry, there's one dude that you'll see who has like a male armor and a hauberk on. He's in the knightly order. He's kind of there as a guard. Uh, oh, I wonder what this is. Is a bookstore or a library? Yeah, it's a bookstore. And incunabula however you pronounce it i learned after asking the question in one of those previous episodes that uh, an incunabula or incunabula i'm still not sure how to pronounce it honestly uh, it's a place that was popular whenever printing presses were first uh coming into use i don't really have any anything useful here okay so it's a little bit weird that um, an Incunabula would be here in Dagger Falls setting, because I feel like we would know if there was a printing press, uh, but who knows. Okay, last alchemist in this town. I don't know if they'll restock their potions tomorrow. It's nighttime, so it would be prudent to rest here. But I would like more than one potion of free action. Oh, here's a potion of levitation. Uh, potion of levitations are just helpful in case you fall suddenly and need to get back up. Oh, oh man. It's a lot of good stuff here. Potion of Healing, I'll take it. Uh, Potion of Seeking, I actually do want one of those for this dis uh, for this dungeon that we're working on. We're getting kind of low on funds, so we'll need to be a bit more discerning about what kind of stuff we purchase. Alright buddy, give me a room. 15 gold, speaking my language. I'm too full to finish the meal, that's a bummer. Okay, let's just go ahead and rest for um, 12 hours so that we know that the shops will be open. Ah, uh, medical skill, mercantile, backstabbing, and long blade. I stifle a yawn. Uh, you know, I you ever felt the feeling where you've leveled up mercantile in real life? There is one memory in particular where I had that uh, a similar interaction. Basically, the first time that I bought a car, I um. I was going into the, the local Hyundai dealership, as one does, whenever they're balling on a budget. I'd just gotten like my first job as a teacher, and so um, I had a little bit of money to buy my own kind of real asset with. 
and the dude was trying to sell me on a car for no down payment for like a car note of 420 uh, a month and even with the cool meme number there I wasn't really excited about that price like I was gonna have a hard time making ends meet and um, I ended up like convincing the guy by just putting like I don't know four hundred dollars down to bring the car note down to I think 350 and uh, the whole ordeal is that you're gonna pay this monthly bill for six years and so considering the small amount that I put down I ended up saving like throughout that six year period like four thousand four hundred dollars by not dealing with his no down payment bullshit it was pretty sweet um, I think we're all out of yeah, did we already check all three shops? We checked this one. We need to go to the one up north again. Yeah, that was a time whenever I felt like I could visibly feel my mercantile skill increasing. It was a real haggling moment. You know, I don't know if you've ever bought a car, but it's kind of frustrating. You talk to the goon up front, the dude up front has to go and talk to... I actually don't know what they do. I think they're making calls with a bank or a loaner of some sort. And so there's a lot of back and forth of you making an offer and then waiting and then you making an offer and then waiting. Okay, um, so we are down to 32 whole gold pieces, but we have assurance. We have a little bit more um, potions of healing. We have a few more potions of healing, I mean. And we have three potions of free action. So let's go ahead and scoot on over to uh, the dungeon again. gonna quick save because real grass and stuff like that that I've turned on you just never know when you're gonna th fall through the map all right um, so we're going to use our potions of free action uh, this guy's interrupting our travel again oh it's a pretty large posse and again they're fighting amongst themselves it's a little bit weird okay um, yeah we're going to use our potions of free action if we get hit by or if we get paralyzed by one of the dagger fall spiders uh, we're going to use their puny animal brains against them by um, luring, luring the enemies behind doors and then shutting them in whenever we don't want to fight them, which is going to be most of the time. Like, I would like to level up my longblade and such, um, but yeah, it's not going to be worth it if we... Every time we have to fight one of those green spiders, the Daggerfall spiders, up close and personal, we risk losing one of our uh, three potions of free action. And we simply don't have enough money to go burning resources left and right like that. Like, I was excited just now because we had like 1,700 gold. That's all been flushed on potions and stuff. Um, I know that we have like a year to pay off our debt. It's a little bit less than the... Oh, clusters of spiders. Not again. Who's this dead person right there? Um, speaking of spiders, I was going on a walk with my wife and my son yesterday and we we go to this little uh, schoolyard where there's a pretty wide open field with, it's dotted with trees along the edge so we'll take him in a stroller and uh, plop ourselves down out there and um, oh, they're about to fight a tiger I wonder if this is worth sticking around for this is like these random passerbys has have been some of our only opportunities at loot anyway uh, so we were looking at one of these trees, and let's go ahead and clean up this loot. You can see that a spider was dangling from it, and I'm not sure if it, the spider was eating another animal, or if, um, oh dang, he's shooting at me. I don't know if the spider had caught something and was like winding it up to eat it. It looked kind of like Frodo did whenever Frodo got caught, so that's what makes me think of that. But I came back later. Uh, throughout the course of our hanging out at the school area and um, Yeah, it kind of looked like the spider was crawling out of something as if maybe what I thought was a victim of you know Another animal getting killed was its uh, What do you call it? It was molting And it might have been crawling out of its former self that thing looks like it's so cool But also just like so hideous, <laughs> you know, it's so it seems really alien and strange even though it's perfectly natural Okay. Alrighty, we're back at the nest. We brush aside some cobwebs. So as we're traveling, we see a priest. The land is a dangerous place. Stay on the roads if you can. If not, be sure to bring anything you need, like healing potions. Oh, believe me, I know, bro. Um, this is kind of cool. Maybe we should set up camp out here with this guy for a second. 
The dangerous thing about making allies with... Oh, sorry, I put it right on his foot. The dangerous thing about making allies with a caster is you might get caught in their... Um, in the splash damage of one of their spells. Okay, let's eat the meat and let's rest for just a little bit till we're healed. Our critical strike skill has improved. Yeah, besides improving my mercantile skill, one skill that I like to grind in real life, I guess there are a couple of them, uh, running and climbing. I, I'm really into, um, uh, let's turn on a light source. Do we have our bedroll? Do we bring it with us? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very much in interested in the sport of rock climbing. It's uh, something I haven't been doing a lot of lately because I recently relocated and had to get a bit further away from the gym. Uh, but that doesn't change my love for the sport. I honestly, I grew up not really being interested in any sports, but rock climbing is like, you can compete with it or you can make it a sort of solo adventure where you're competing with yourself and your previous bests. Okay, let's see if we can do away with one blood spider real quick. Did not absorb that one, unfortunately. Um, if we fight closer to the exit, then we can leave without much consequence and just set up camp outside. feel a bit better that we have a... Uh, oh my goodness. I feel a bit better since we have a fresh bedroll. Like, I know it's not going to break on me the next time I put it down. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Um, gonna go ahead and... Speak of the devil, already having to heal like this. Okay, we're gonna rest until fully healed. Oh, I forgot, we should be trying to use our animal taming on these creatures. Okay, long blade skill leveled up, that's good. Okay, where are you, buddy? Oh, it's not letting me pacify it. You see a blood spider, you see a blood spider. Yeah, maybe it's not compatible with the mod. Uh, maybe language skills overhaul isn't compatible with the uh, enemy expansion is what I mean to say. Yo, we killed an enemy, y'all. What is up? Uh, let's take the spider's venom. Why not? Okay. Uh, since we ran outside, I just wasted a little bit of oil. Uh, so I bought a potion of seeking so that we could... We came here for a reason. We're on a quest from the mage's guild. Oh, hello. Uh, did I turn it off in time? No, I did not. Yeah, we're on a quest for the Mage's Guild, and... Okay, we can shut him out right here. I think this loops around also, so we could actually do a method where we kite things toward the entrance of the dungeon. It would actually be a bit wiser to do it the other way, though, so... Yeah, we came here looking for a certain item. Uh, run past? Okay. So the Potion of Seeking will help us track down the item. Oh, I can contain him in here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and mark our map right here. And I'm going to say um, East Entrance. Uh, actually, do I have a way of looking at the loop? It's actually a pretty small loop. And we have a door on either end. And so if we get a nice train of spiders going, we could just like keep containing them into... Yeah, let's call this little place Spider Containment, because that would be pretty funny. And once we have a few spiders contained, I'll use the um, Potion of Seeking. That way we can narrow down where our quest target is. Oh, this one's behind a door. Let's go ahead and let it out. This one's also behind a door. Let's let it out. Follow me. Follow me, everyone. Ah, that's close. That one's locked. Uh, this looks like the way since it's lit up. Yeah, yeah, this way. This way. Okay, come on, y'all. Everybody. Oh, sh the light goes out on me. It's pretty scary. Alright, follow me. Looks like only one is behind me. It's a little bit weird. I lose them. Okay.
Okay, one got out, but that's okay. It's just a blood spider. This is where the long blade level up happens, maybe. Oh, no, there's another uh, paralysis spider here. Okay, let's see if I can kite them again. We have a really good train of enemies here. Okay, come on, y'all. Orderly fashion, let's go, let's go. We got places to be. Huh? Oh, I've saved against paralysis, that's good. Wow, did they... Ah, this isn't working like I want. Spider containment, they are not being contained. Okay, here's a potion of free action that we have to burn. Uh, the good thing about burning a potion of free action is we, um, we have a bit more liberty to actually stick around and fight. Because it's like, it gives you immunity to paralysis effectively. Um, so let's use a potion of healing also. Uh, so I'm less likely to get, like, absolutely wrecked by paralysis whenever I have the potion of free action going. Alright, yeah, we killed one of them. Now we can go this way. Let's jump over the blood spiders and then lock them in. Okay, oh, they both got out. I gotta be quicker than that, I guess. Let's drink a potion of stamina. Huh. I think the spider's paralysis effect has worn off by now. Hey, we're actually hitting him. That's pretty cool. Um, he drops some meat for us. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, if we're actually able to kill some of them, that would be great. Yeah, I don't have any ranged options right now. I'm hoping that will change. Like, I'm really looking forward to the first magic item we find. Whenever that will be. Okay. It gets really creepy whenever all the, uh, whenever my light goes out. Let's pop down our campfire. Let's eat some meat. Let's cook some meat. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this as our fire. Fire. Okay, yeah, it was interesting. We were actually just, oh, our stomach rumbles. We were actually just running low on um, stamina this time around. Okay, eating the smelly meat. We'll see if that backfires. All right, we've actually cleared out a few spiders now. Let's go ahead and use our um, potion of seeking so we can get an idea of where to go. Okay, it's telling us to go north and uh, lower. Okay, let's see what kind of options we have for going north and lower. Lo and behold, it's right around this corner. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's light up the lamps as we go. It'd be nice if I have the foresight to come back and take this oil before we leave, but I don't think I will. Okay, this looks like a dead end. North, lower. Is there any other possibility? North. It says, okay, this is just north. Let's make sure to mark it. Sometimes it's unclear. POS north, okay. So, uh, perhaps it's this branching path. Where is that branching path? Oh man, it means backtracking toward the entrance, then going northward and descending over there, because it looks like this is a pretty hard set dead end. Okay, backtrack. Yeah. Let's vamos out of here. Moldy raw meat, smelly raw meat. Oh gosh. Um, I'm really worried that I got diseased again. North lower, we already knew that. Okay, cook. Wait, no, we don't want to spend time yet. Gonna see if we can move fast enough. This also gives us north lower. I might as well mark it. P O S uh, and lower. Okay. Uh, this is it. 
This is our way north. North lower still. Uh, P O S N lower. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Yeah, it's it's good to light these torches to know where we've been previously. Brazier. Okay, we're either running out of oh northwest lower. P O S N dub lower. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, shit, that was scary. Okay, let's go back and see if there's a place where we can confine this thing. Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Ah, oh, damn, dude. I slipped past. It's actually kind of hard to slam the door in their faces because of how slowly the doors slam. Close, rather. Oh, I can close this one out? Aw, oh, dude. Not the time to choke, Micah. Let's see if we get another pop-up. Oh, there's a blood spider. North higher. Yeah, we had descended quite a bit, so that makes sense. We still have spiders on our tail. Huh. Huh. Northwest. I don't feel good about marking stuff on my map whenever I have enemies on my tail. Uh, but, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Awesome, now we get to explore at our leisure, sort of. Uh, so, this makes me feel a lot better. Let's go ahead and drop a quick save. Would suck for the game to crash or something after we find the quest target. Okay, let's try to bait out an attack. Not really doing a great job of that. It'd be great to get, well, dude, no, okay, uh, free action, uh, yeah, healing, uh, man, something's definitely wrong with this other sprite, I think this is a, an issue I've had before, but I don't know what the cause or the solution is, okay, okay, got that one down. Yeah, I'm also not... What's going on here, bro? You see this thing? It's like he's not even attacking me. Am I just going to put this guy out of his misery? Uh, yeah, I also haven't been seeing any locked loot containers. That's one of my favorite mods, and I haven't seen any in a couple of dungeons now. I wonder if I need to move it uh, higher up on my mod list or something like that. Okay, we're out of spell points, so we're going to go ahead and light our torch. Okay, I'm gonna rest until we're healed. It's possible that um, there aren't any locked loot containers because there are only spiders here. So like, what kind of loot would they lock up? Why would they have chests? But um, anyway, while traveling through the wilderness, you run into a group of adventurers. Hail friend, be sure to keep a watchful eye on your travels. No telling what are... Man, this is a wacky mod setup I have going on. I feel like there are conflicts left and right. There are enemies nearby. At least we reached a new level. Um, I'm honestly not sure what I even want to level up. Oh, personality, of course. Speed is always good. Um, let's bump up endurance and willpower for the flavor of being willful. It's all suddenly obvious to you. You just have to concentrate. All the energy and time you've wasted, it's a sin. But without the experience you've gained, taking risks, taking responsibility for failure, how could you understand? So do I actually have enemies around me? Oh my gosh, it's a bloodbath. Is it possible to pacify them? No. 
Okay, so at least they're not horribly in conflict. Like, this guy's just getting killed because he's marked as a barbarian. This is a healer, this is a warrior, this is a knight, this is a... So these are all etiquette NPCs. At least they're not fighting each other. It makes me feel like it's not quite so broken. Moldy, moldy. Okay. Oh, I can't cook here. Yeah, so it's unlikely that... Oh, man. Like, it's unlikely that this group of adventurers would have come here, but I will sure as hell abuse the fact that they are here. Um, oh, I better be careful where I'm swinging so I don't get... Yeah. We have a party of adventurers here to work with. Hello. Let's... Uh, yeah. Quick save. Is it shift F10? Yeah, turn off the HUD. Get a little thumbnail here. <laughs> okay, cook the smelly raw meat. Cook the smelly raw meat. Rest until healed. Alright, pack it up. And so we, we made it out of the dungeon, but we are in just like a kind of sorry state. Okay, uh, let's make sure we don't have a disease. I don't think we have a disease. We'll know for sure once we try to travel. Uh, but yeah, we have almost no loot at all to show for it. Um, okay, we have the lich dust that we got from earlier. We have a few other alchemical ingredients that won't really be worth much. Uh, but if I recall correctly, we're doing this quest for the mages guild for free. Like we're... The benefit is that we're getting a reputation bonus out of it. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that the guy sent us to what was likely the uh, worst dungeon possible for us. Okay, um, so we're going back to Rip Market. I'm actually going to fast travel even though we've been there before and it would be a bit more convenient to just... Well, well I'm actually not going to fast travel is what I'm trying to say. At least not for a while. I want to see if we can get some profitable random encounters from this. Okay, I think I've found the cause of um, our issue with the uh, getting spammed with wilderness encounters. Seems like I had the uh, the old text files for the War Ashes wilderness uh, module installed, and those aren't needed with the DF mod mod installed. So. Let's just go ahead and give this a try. Let's run toward Whitewood Burrow again and see if we run into just a reasonable amount of enemies. Pride of Mountain Lions interrupting our travel. That seems like a reasonable one. Let's um, let's turn on our candle spell and see. Oh man, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it looks like just one enemy. Oh, well, two technically. Let's actually see if we can run past them and... There were a couple of bodies back here. Uh, yeah, it's a little risky trying to loot the bodies with mountain lions on our tail, though, so let's just go. Oh, man. I'll be so happy if I don't have to deal with all those um, random encounters happening again. I honestly wonder uh, how the issue occurred in the first place, because whenever I was playing my bandit character... I used to travel overland quite a lot and didn't have the issue. Like a long, long time ago, I was having the issue, but it hasn't been a problem for a very long time. Looks like we're almost out of stamina, so this would be a good time to plop down the campfire, rest up a bit. Now let's go ahead and rest for like, I don't know, eight hours. Okay, it's daytime again, let's pack up. Okay. Yeah, we're still gonna travel over land. Wait, why am I losing stamina so fast? It's because you should dress lighter again? Okay. I'll take off my helmet because I feel like a dork. Okay, invigorated by the meal. We should be able to get there without passing out. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, I accidentally just traveled to some random spot. The shining sun reflects uh, off something par partially concealed on the ground. You make out the form of <laughs> a weapon, perhaps an abandoned arrow. Yeah, I don't really want an arrow. Like, just one arrow. Hello. <laughs> Oh, never change, Daggerfall. Have you noticed that with uh, every episode that we record, we have at least one near-death experience? It's usually related to getting some sort of disease, or like in the previous episode, we found that druid who dropped us to like one HP. I swear, if we had not leveled up moments before, that would have killed us, like, on the spot. Um, so it's good that with every level, like we have 53 HP, it's not huge, but with every level we are getting a little bit more um, feasible from a survival perspective. And since we're playing without any level scaling, this is only a benefit. Whereas in the vanilla game, where did I find all the alchemists? I think it was in Tunbeth Hamlet. In the vanilla game, um, the higher your level was, the tougher the enemies you faced would become. And uh, this makes it almost kind of bad to level up sometimes since, you know, you'd fight, um, you'd go from fighting just like zombies to fighting vampire ancients and stuff like that. Uh, am I needing to dress more lightly? No, I don't know why I'm losing so much stamina. Let's see if I can eat. Am I invigorated? I'm scared to continue if I, let's just try. We're so close. Surely I won't die in 17 minutes. Oh, hostile group of foes. Uh, this is pretty bad. Do I drink a stamina potion or risk it? Let's just bob and weave a bit. All right, Tunbeth. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Whew, yeah, it's... The overland travel can be pretty dangerous sometimes. Okay, we want to go to one of our alchemists and get rid of our ingredients here. Superior pot herbs is right here. That's convenient. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm trying to sell. <laughs> okay. 308 gold, I'll take it. Okay, right now, okay, a potion of slow falling would be good, but I don't think we have the luxury of paying for something like that. Just a basic potion of healing would be pretty nice. Okay. I think with the uh, condition our wallet is in, we might just rest on the road going back toward... Um, where are we going back toward? Rip Market. Okay, let's travel for just a second and then stop to make camp. And we shouldn't, this shouldn't be such a terrible affair now that we have the um, mod issue sorted out. Wait, what is this? Anchor? Yeah, okay. Group of Minotaurs? Um, that sucks. Oh, there's three of them. They look like such badasses, too. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Now, if we could run into somebody to fight those Minotaurs with this. A friendly group of adventurers. Cool. Yeah, um, let's hop over this wall and make camp inside this little cubby. And we might just rest here for a while and, let's see, we only have one day of rations, so we can't do this for too long. Uh, but yeah, let's just rest here. Rest for like eight hours. And see if we can't fight some enemies with these adventurers. Oh, it's a rat. I'm actually kind of scared of the rat, to be honest. I've gotten diseased by, the, by rats so often now. I'll just let this adventurer take care of it and then help myself to the meat and the tooth. Yep, yeah, thank you. Cook moldy raw meat. Uh, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Help ourselves to some of that smelly smelly. Enemies nearby? Cool. 
Oh, that's a little bit spooky. What are you? Are we able to attack you? I can't tell if our weapon's effective. A faded ghost. He's battered and hostile. Um. Okay, cool. He killed a mage. I think the uh, AI is having a hard time targeting... Okay, there it goes. Um, I see a dead person. Faded ghost just died. Oh, we got a book! We got a joke book, you guys! That's awesome! Okay, um... I see no reason to not help ourselves to everything this person was carrying, basically. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, books are pretty valuable. I know I should hold on to it for lore reason, but like a joke is barely... joke book isn't very... Like, I don't think there'll be a ton of lore to it. Oh no, I just got a punchline spoiled by reading the end of it. Okay. Uh, let's rest for another eight hours and see if we can get some uh, more enemies to fight. Our stomach rumbles. That's, uh, that's good. That's good. How are you feeling, buddy? You're a healthy sorcerer. Okay, how are we doing our rations? We still have the rations. Uh, any other food we can eat? Let's eat the meat. Rest for uh, 12 hours or so. See if we can get another enemy. Uh, nothing yet. Rest for another 12 hours. Uh, this will be the last one we do before we need to hit the road because we're running low on food. Uh, a nearby animal has run away. What's, what's the big idea? What are we fighting over here, man? Oh, a bat. Alright, that means we have more food. We can stay here a little bit longer. Gotta pay attention to see if we uh, run out of rations at some point. Yep, yep, there it goes. Okay. There's a wild cow in the distance. Is there a dungeon here? No, this is just a cute little outpost. Alright, so long traveler. I don't think I could win a fight against that dude or I would try. Alright, uh, let's eat the smelly meat. Quick save. Protect against uh, falling through the map. Uh, wh what is this place? Uh, Grimford. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out. At this point, it's really hard to resist the urge to um, succumb to thievery, but we're going to try to resist a bit longer. Alright, uh, I'm a bit wet. I think going to a tavern and eating will fix that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oatmeal with berries, instant classic. Drink some bitters. I wonder if anyone's passing out work in here. No, 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 no. No, okay. We'll go to the palace and see. Should be a general store. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Formal brassiere, just like a spiked punk rocker bra. Alright, cute. Let's get three sacks of rations. Thank you, thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm probably not selling this to the optimal vendor, but that's okay. Wow, this is not worth shit. Okay, whatever. Don't I have other stuff to sell? Uh, it's armor, and no, it's not really worth much. Oh, the joke book. Yeah, we have no interest in a joke book. Oh, the store's closed. Let's wait a couple hours. Let's just, um, joke book save file. Yeah.
All right. So we have a humble amount of cash again. Let's uh, go in here. Potion of stamina, never hurts. Potion of healing, nope, nope, no potion of healing. Let's just leave. <sighs> Tempted just to, yeah, uh, let's just go to Rip Market. Rip Market. Such a long way there. And if we travel recklessly, we'll cut the price down. Oh, we have 10 gold to spare. Who am I kidding? Mercantile has improved again. Is that one of our, um... Oh, uh, yeah, that, that does help us. But Mercantile is higher than Illusion. That's pretty funny. Okay, so we got... We went to the Mage's Guild on the south side of town. Screams nearby alert you to trouble. A giant has lumbered into town, hungry from the scarcity of winter and unwilling to listen to reason. Uh, do you attempt to stop it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so hopefully some guards will come out and help me with this. Yeah. Oh, run, 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 run. Yeah, this guy's just dropping a bunch of guards, uh, which is kind of good, but I, as I recall, they don't really drop very good loot. Oh, Dwarven Short Sword, stand corrected. Nice. This is the most disgraceful thing ever. I'm just gonna get a bunch of cops killed and then rob their bodies and then... Um, I guess it's... Again, <laughs> it's for my survival. Gotta pay off my loans somehow. And they would be fighting this giant anyway because of the... Uh, like, they need to protect the city, right? Yes. Yes. I've thoroughly reasoned my actions through. Uh, chain Quiris. A little helm. Can't even carry that. Yeah, let's... Silver mace could be good to sell. Um, I heard another attack. Somebody attacking me over here? No, okay. I thought maybe the guard was angry. Like, surely they don't know that I'm looting their corpses, right? From an AI perspective. Come on, boys. This thing it feels almost invincible. Like, I feel like I'm not connecting with it at all. Are the guards connecting with it? Steel Claymore. Ah, ah. Okay, one more hit could drop us, so let's just go inside. Okay, so we've made it to the Mage's Guild and Rip Market. Turn in our quest. I don't think we'll get anything from it. We might actually want to um, pick up a spell or two here. Uh, am I returning this to any of you guys? Uh, excellent. I remember to warn you not to read this, didn't I? Could be quite dangerous if pronounce if you pronounced Nogog with a hard G, as laymen are apt. Well, thanks for your help, Kirstia uh, Iraksen. Keep this up, and we'll consider your membership in the Mages Guild. Uh, yeah, I mostly want dungeons, not membership. Okay. Let's see what kind of cheap spells we could get. I think it's worth it to look into some restoration spells. Uh, Balina's Salve and Balm, these both heal health. Let's get the weaker one. I also want the one that heals uh, stamina. We already have light. Paralysis is surprisingly cheap. Uh, shadow form, it could be helpful, but I don't want to pay for it right now. Oh, stamina, heal fatigue. Yep, cool. 
Okay, we're gonna go to the... Uh, I wonder if this will give us... Yeah, no. I thought maybe we'd get a um, point of reputation with them, but that's not going to happen visibly unless we join the guild. Let's go to the palace and see if we find any quests there. Uh, if not, then... Uh, I don't know, maybe back to the temple? Maybe we try to find one of the bard's halls? In fact, is there a bard hall here? Uh, guild? I don't think so. Hey man, um, polite work. Okay, let's copy this to our logbook. Yep. I'd really quest. I'd rather quest for someone here in the uh, palace than some person in a tavern, personally. But the last time I was here, nobody had anything to say. Oh hey. Um. I fear I have much on my mind. Orcs, you see. They have been causing trouble of late in Daggerfall. In fact, the king has put a bounty on a party's war leader. Here, take this notice. I think that might need to say something there. I hope it gets added to our... Looks like it will. By order of King Gothard, King of Daggerfall, to all able-bodied men and women of Daggerfall, the orcs located at the Hold of Buckingston have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and vis visitors. Refer to the directions to the Hold of Buckingston on the back of this notice. A 457 gold reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader, uh, Helolas. Uh, this is from Uthard Hawkhouse of Chester Works Palace. Badass. Okay, and you know, while we could use a couple of potions of healing, uh, I think we're just going to go there and see what happens. Uh, let's actually see... Uh, do, 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 do. What's the place called? The Hold of Buckingston. How far are we from it? The Hold of Bucking. Oh man, that's kind of far. Let's go. S Where are we? Yeah, let's go south. Are we invigorated right now? Uh, we are invigorated. Okay. I'm tempted to go in here and drop off. Yeah, let's. It's a bit foolish, but we're just gonna pay off a little bit. Uh, banking, loan amount due three thousand four hundred. Yeesh. Okay. Um, going to oh loan repay. Let's repay four hundred. Wait, gold pieces in your inventory. Loan due. Did that do anything? Banking. Am I doing this right? Oh, I must have deposited it. Withdraw. 400. Okay. Let's go ahead and repay 50 now. Okay, we have exactly 3,000 to... Stomach rumbles, we refill our water. Hail, friend. Uh, so it's under the control of Daggerfall, even though there are a bunch of orcs on the inside. That's interesting. Maybe they're, the orcs are kind of like under siege. going to avoid using um, our light spell quite as often since we now have potions, I mean, uh, healing spells to rely on. Okay. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Um, that'll help us fight the orcs. Let's go look at our spell book. Cost 20 magic points. How many magic points? Oh, hello. I can see that. Right there. How many magic points do we have? Uh, how do we figure that out again? Intelligence? Oh, it's... Yeah, I have 65 magic points because I have one-time intelligence. Okay. Oh, no, bro. Oh, goodness. This is... This is bad already. Uh, one. Uh, Buying his bomb. Okay. Okay. Skeletal warrior died. Yeah, horrible horde is going to make this... Um, Way more dangerous than what I thought. 
Okay, he's not impressed by our necromancy. The skeletal warrior is not impressed by our necromancy. Oh, wow. Uh, am I paralyzed? I'm paralyzed. Okay, let's get out of here. This is awful. I might have to warp out of here. Yeah, yep, yep. I think we're going to warp out of here. Um, dude, no. Our horse. Okay. This is the fact, you guys. Um, we are incredibly, incredibly poor. We are in debt. Uh, I think we're going to end up um, joining the Thieves Guild here in a second. Because we are just like having a hard time scraping by with these quests that we're getting. We'll see, we'll see. So we basically lost our horse, although we could just travel. Let's just travel and find the hold uh, of Buck. Travel recklessly to save some money. Our orcish skill improved. Oh man, it says this place has been infested with yellow fever. Um, okay. Um, let's go ahead and camp out. Okay, uh, I really considered succumbing to the temptation of thievery, joining the Thieves Guild, and just, you know, doing some low-level non-dungeon quest to get our money uh, up a little bit, pay off our loan and that sort of thing, but... I think we can do better than, better than that. You know, our character doesn't want to be a criminal, so we're not going to impose that on her unless she really, really has to. We're going to set an anchor. We had enough to buy the potions of teleport, so let's delete this. Uh, and we fast traveled down here to um, good old Tunbeth Hamlet. It has three alchemy stores in it, which is uh, convenient for our purposes. So we're going to say our uh, anchor. Ton Beth Hamlet. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and hit up this tavern to get invigoration bonus. Uh, yeah, really need the invigoration bonus here. And we might be able to get a drink to uh, bring our magicka up some. Gore apple cheesecake. Uh, bitter will bring the magicka up. Okay. Okay, let's go out of the city gates here. Yeah, we're always being pushed and tempted to um, take the easy way out, it seems like. But I'm, I'm just confident that with um, this orc stronghold, even though Horrible Hordes is adding a bunch of um, clusters of orcs to deal with, and we have enemies that can paralyze us and things like that. Let's see, the hold of, yeah, Buckington, Buckingston. Even with all of that, the fact that they have um, two rival factions and the orcs and the ghosts. Um, oh, a ritual of necromancers have interrupted our travel. That's pretty dangerous. Yeah, anyway, I should be able to use my, uh, my personality, my language skills, and the fact that there are two different factions fighting each other there uh, to my benefit. I'm a, oh, orcs have interrupted our travel. That's a little bit, oh, 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 dang. Oh, there's spiders here. I'm gonna go around and spam, okay. Okay. Whew, okay. Um, that was a little bit scary. Gives me a hint of what I'm in for, but I was able to spam uh, a few clicks on them to maybe get our orcish skill up one more time before we reach the dungeon. Let's rest for nine hours and see if we make it through the night. There are enemies nearby. Oh, excuse you. This is a wraith. That's awful. He's stuck on the collision of my tent, which is bad because I need that tent. Yeah, he really does seem stuck on it. Okay, he's floating my way, it seems like.
Yeah, the issue is I'm, uh, I don't have any healing potions, and my one healing spell, that's like all I can cast, basically. I, I might be able to cast my healing spell three times, but it's not really much. Okay, I think it's out of uh, spell points, so let's dismount and pack up our fire pack. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad that I was, someone helped me to figure out what was going on with my mod list there. It was kind of, it was becoming a burden to play my favorite game there for a second. Now that I'm not being bombarded by wild encounters and stuff like that, it's much more bearable. Hostile group of foes. We have a lot of them too. I think these are called witch defenders or something like that. Let's keep it moving. And, um, no, we're, we're close enough. I'm a little bit nervous because whenever we warped to, um, or I shouldn't say warp, whenever we fast traveled to this dungeon to retrieve our horse a second ago, um, let's rest until fully healed. We were told that, um, it was infested with yellow fever. I hope that's not still the case. Oh, there's a zombie. That's not too bad. We should be able to take a zombie. Especially with our silver broadsword. Uh, I installed the physical combat overhaul, but I disabled everything except for this one little feature that I believe increases weapon uh, the uh, effectiveness of silver weapons against undead because I was really. Like, that should be a thing, you know? You should be able to seek out um, werewolves with your silver weapon and expect better results. So I was looking for mods that achieve that, and then, as it turns out, the physical combat overhaul mod that I have talked about previously um, already sets that up for you. So I just disabled everything except for the weapon effectiveness uh, add-on that it has. Okay. It's daybreak. Let's uh, go ahead and continue our travel to the hold of Buckingston. A flock of bats have interrupted our travel. We can handle them, right? Oh, look. It seems like we got both of them with one stroke. That would be pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's possible in Daggerfall Unity based on some conversations I've read recently, but can't argue with those results. So we have some bodies here, but I don't think I'm able to loot them. Am I able to loot the wagon? Let's make sure that we're in grab mode. No, it does not seem like it. Sometimes you'll see there's like a loot pile nearby um, so that you can loot these bodies, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Uh, at least we got a little bit of meat. Let's set up our fire and cook the bat meat real quick. Okay, we are invigorated. Oh, and let's see, are we... I should dress lighter, yep. Man, it is hard to not... Oh my god, what was that? Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, we can't hurt it with a silver weapon. Let's just get... Yeah, it's hard to know what the appropriate dress is with the Nord sometimes. There's just occasionally where it'll be, like, so freezing that I need the uh, fur cloak. Okay, uh, we were able to fool the highwaymen. Oh, let's let the harpy kill the highwaymen, in fact. <laughs> yeah, so we want to basically do this same interaction, but between the undead and orcs inside of this stronghold. Um, and just as how the stronger party is going to kill the weaker one and we're going to grab the loot there, uh, we're going to try to loot as many orcs and skeletons as we can. Oh, I don't think there is a body here. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's just go. Yeah, but in the dungeon, the bodies will stick around, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't really want to spend time on a hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Disturbing dungeon music. I love it. Okay. Here goes. Let's light our lantern. Um, we have bandages and healing spells and a campsite. What could go wrong? Okay. 
Ah, okay, it's right here. It's not impressed by my necromancy. That's a language skill using this mod. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, we don't want to fight a ghost. Like, that's the last thing we want to do. Let's use a bandage. Skeletal warrior died. That's good news for us, I guess. Let's use another bandage. Oh, there's an orc shaman. Oh, I pacified one of them. Orc pacified with orcish kill. Orc isn't impressed. Whoa! Friendly fire, bro. I'll take it. Oh, no. Um, okay. Um, teleport. Teleport. Oh, jeez. Okay, um... Well... <laughs> that's a thing that happened. We gotta go and make sure that we specify that there's no anchor. No anchor. Man. Um... I thought I was going to be able to avoid the life of de de degeneracy that awaits me, but honestly, I'm not so sure now. Uh, how much gold do we have? 113? Because we tried to pay off our stupid loan like a dingus. Now, here's the obvious consideration. We, we could cheat the system a little bit. I've been avoiding this possibility because I think it, like, mitigates some interesting gameplay some. Uh, but we could go northward and take out like to a different province and take out a larger loan come back to Daggerfall and pay off the loan and then head out you know it's just that doesn't feel very good there's a rat right there yeah like um yeah oh, there's some more enemies nearby I don't think so. Whatever. Yeah, it just wouldn't feel very good to abuse the uh, bank system like that, although the bank system is kind of abusing me right now. Um, yeah, we're down to 66 gold. Food is getting a bit ripe. Okay, kicker. Are you around here, kicker? I, I really shouldn't poke my head in here even, to be honest. Like, without our potions of teleport, we saw how quickly I was dying in there, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we're back to square one of doing low stakes quests, courier work, and stuff like that, it seems like. Uh, so we're going to go... Maybe we should try a new region. Okay, uh, let's go northward toward Grimfort again. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit tired of hanging out in the Daggerfall region. Maybe we can go to a smaller one and just try to remember to pay off our debt. Let's go to... Um, if we're going on a long epic journey, I do kind of want to do overland travel. It just it creates so much editing work for me because I know I don't want to keep most of this. A squad of orcs have interrupted the travel. Oh, what the hell? He's like right up on me. Yeah, we can't get close to the Orc Warlord. He will drop us. Okay. Yeah, so in addition to traveling northward just to go to a new province, I really want to check out the uh, Bard's Guild, since that would be a... It could be a peaceful way for us to get some money. But I don't know how to find the Bard's Guild. Uh, I know that... Wait, wait, what happened? Why did I stop? Is there something nearby? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, cool, I pacified somebody. 
see if I can pacify this one also. Okay. What kind of loot do you have? Silver Tonto, Steel Short Sword, like we need every help, we like all the help we can get here, so. We have another mounted buddy, uh, Jimbo Incarnate here to help us out. Let's rest uh, for a good 11 hours, maybe get back to daylight. Enemies nearby, what kind of enemies we got? Yo, yo, okay, 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 okay. One day I'll have a weapon that lets me um, fight back here. Found old Morgana shack. Or at least the harpy will kill our buddy here, and then we can take their uh, their loot. Oh, you know, I should at least try to pacify the harpy. I have pretty decent personality, even if my skill is terrible. I'm not trying to talk to the rogue rider. I'm trying to talk to the harpy. Okay. Oh man, oh, what is this? Hello. Where'd you come from, buddy? Yeah, keep this, uh, I'm a bit wet. Yeah, let's take, put on our cloak. Yeah, keep that harpy occupied for a second, please. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna loot this body. Oh, we got some food. This is, this is good stuff. We're weighed down quite a lot, but we cannot be picky. Pack. Okay, where was the other conflict? Was it over here to the north? Yeah. Oh, they killed the harpy. Spell was absorbed. Yeah. Let's uh, use our stamina spell now, in case we get to absorb the next one. Yeah. The Nightblade died. I didn't touch the Nightblade. Do I reflect spells too or something? I don't know, but I'll take it. Um, we need to just get rid of some of our excess clothing and such. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, well. We're not so destitute as we were two seconds ago. I don't think this will be enough um, loot to help us get the potions that I would feel that I feel that we need but cross paths with some soldiers great yeah we need two potions of teleport we need like um, some healing potions we don't need to spend time on a fresh hunt or anything like that we made it to Grimfort again uh, do we have yeah the champion equipment we have a uh, yeah we have stuff in the center Yeah, the good thing about taking it slow instead of like fast traveling all around the map is that you'll end up running into encounters that you um, didn't expect to find. This is a uh, this is why you want to stay away from having destination fever when playing games like this. Okay, this is good. It's not enough for any potions really, um, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, so. We found a little bit of armor on those uh, humanoids who fought the harpy and stuff like that. That's good too. Uh, we're also just gonna check out the palace and maybe we'll find the bard around here. Bard's, oh, Bard's Guild is here. Great. Ah, oh, awesome. I'm really excited to check out the Bard's Guild. Okay. Uh, guilds, Bard's Guild. Nobody knows where the Bard's Guild is. Please. Oh, thank you. Okay, what shape is the Bard's Guild? It's this tiny little hall over here to the west. Let's go. It will be a little bit um, annoying keeping up with two reputations whenever I'm this, you know, bad at finishing quests. Um, so it's a little bit risky to be in the Bard's Guild and the Akatosh uh, Chantry with such low reputation in the guilds. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. Worst case scenario, I get kicked out of one of them, right? That's just a character arc waiting to happen.
Yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of quests and services we have access to in the Bard's Guild. Hey, look at that. It has a cute little icon with a loot on it. Let's go knock on their door and see what up. See what's up. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to enable that, but it was pretty cool. It's a shift F10 that I was trying to do. Hi, buddy. Uh, join guild, get quest. Buy spells. Make spells. Yeah, who needs the uh, mage's guild whenever you have the bard's college? Cool. Uh, so I'm asking to join the guild. This guy says, yes, you look like you would be very suited to our storied guild of bards and balladeers. You show great promise, and I think with our help and support, you will prosper in this line of work. As a member, you will, uh, we will be able to recommend work, offer training, and give you access to our library. Oh, dude, that's convenient. Uh, soon you will earn free recharges of magicka. Whoa, that's really good for my character. As you rise in the ranks, we will offer a place to rest and access to uh, the guild at any time. Slowly, you will also gain access to our spell sellers and makers and spy masters and magic item identifiers. And finally, our magic item sellers also. Dude, yeah, sign me up. All right, welcome to the Bard's Guild, Kirsty Erarkson. Uh, it will be our pleasure doing business with you. Our instructors, spell sellers, spell singers, truth sayers, seers, and curators are all easy to work with. I'm sure they will prove invaluable on your journey to fame and fortune. Hone your powers of persuasion and your ability to charm, and I'm sure you'll rise to the ranks in no time. Great. Um, so what do I have access to now? Let's look at the trainer. This will tell us what skills we should work on, which I think will be fine. Uh, Streetwise and Etiquette are up there along with jumping, so like all of our major skills. Uh, that's cool. Great. Uh, speaking of which, so let's take a look at our skills. Longblade is up to 43. That's awesome. We're getting a bit more competent there. Uh, yep, yeah, can't make spells yet. Can't buy spells yet. Let's take a further look. We have a Spy Master. If this works the same way that Thieves Guild Spy Master does, I think they will provide maps to you. Uh, which is super helpful, of course. And uh, this is a random dude upstairs. I'm guessing I can't rest here yet. I kind of want to check it out. Yeah, okay. I have not rented a room here. I guess that means that uh, I can't rest yet. Okay, let's see what kind of quest they... Oh, we need to explore a bit further. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is our magic item identifier. This is probably the person that sells it. That's some high-level stuff, I'm sure. Okay, now it's time to see what kind of quest we can get. Regional Tavern is desperate for a good balladeer to entertain the patrons. We give it a go? Yeah, dude. The mouse and cat in Syncroft is looking for new bard for the next 13 days. See Vanin Ashley. Uh, show them what you got and make some money. All right, dude. Okay, so let's make a note that we're working out of Grimfort. Um... Bard's College in Grimfort. And we are uh, going to uh, the Mouse uh, Sinkcroft. I know Sinkcroft, right? Sinkcroft. Oh, that's way down south. I'm at. Okay, let's go out to the east. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind. I went back in time to read the joke book uh, and to go to this library here because I didn't want to interrupt the episode with uh, reading. I want to keep those at the end of the episode so that those who aren't really interested can just skip to the next one. Uh, but yeah, let's see what this Daggerfall joke book has to offer. I started reading and then chuckled at the first one, and I was like, I should probably wait and just read these on camera. Okay, uh, how is your wife? asked Zalathar. She's in bed with laryngitis, replied Harolith. Is that Argonian bastard back in town again? <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Uh, I keep seeing spots before my eyes. Have you seen a healer? No, just spots. That's a, that's kind of a take on a, uh, an actual joke I've heard before. A big Nord named Yolgen was set on by a gang of thieves. 
He fought them furiously, but in the end, they beat him into semi-consciousness. They searched his pockets and discovered that he only had three gold pieces on him. This is all too relatable for Kirstia. Do you mean to tell us you fought us like a mad loop for three lousy gold pieces? Sneered one of the thieves. No, answered Yolgan. I was afraid you were after the 400 gold pieces in my boot. Alright. Hey, during the War of Bethany, the Bretons and the Isle of Craghold were under siege for several days. After the island was liberated, Lord Bridwell found the ruins of the castle where a crowd of survivors were hidden away in the dark. It was going to be a difficult job freeing them as part of the roof had collapsed, trapping them all within. Bridwell stuck his head in the only opening and shouted to the Bretons below, Are there any expected mothers down there? It's hard to say, your lordship, said a young woman. We've only been down here a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's not bad. An elderly Breton with... <laughs> An elderly Breton met with a contemporary of his at a guild meeting. Harriston, old man, I wanted to express my sympathy. I hear that you were, that you buried your wife last week. Had to, old boy, replied Harriston. Dead, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, why was the Sentinel army so useless during the War of Bethany? The cannons were too heavy, so all their garbage scows sunk. <laughs> you know, I don't know what a scow is. Uh, but I really like how uh, how many War of Bethany jokes are in here. Like, unironically, that's a nice touch to include the culture like that. Okay, what does a new Sentinel Private learn first as a combat technique? How to retreat. Got him! Oh! <laughs> um, we know all about that, though. Okay, uh, <laughs> what is the thinnest book in the world? Redguard Heroes of the War of Bethany. Oh, sick burn. A dark elf man killed his wife after catching her making love with another man. When the magistrate asked him why he killed her instead of her lover, the man replied, I considered it's better to kill one woman than a different man every week. <laughs> a dark elf woman was being shown around Castle Dagger. Oops, a dark elf woman was being shown around Daggerfall. When she was shown the magnificent castle Daggerfall, she smiled sweetly to her guild and whispered, It reminds me of um, intercourse. Am I allowed to say that word on YouTube? I don't get it. Uh, That's odd, said her guild. Uh, Why does our castle Daggerfall remind you of intercourse? The Dark Elf side, everything does. Okay, um, is this a canonical stereotype? Are Dark Elves just horny? I uh, This is the first I'm hearing of this. Um, I thought it was the Argonians. Okay. Um... Uh, Yelithaw told Vathisaw that she was having dinner with a dark elf named Morleth that night. I hear he's an animal, said Vathisaw. He'll rip that dress right off you. Thank you for telling me, said Yelithaw. I'll be sure to wear an old dress. Okay, uh, it's just a classic took it too literally kind of a uh, joke there. This orchard has sentimental value to me, said Mojad, the Kaji, to his friend Hasilid. Under that tree, for example, is where I first made love, and that tree is where her mother stood watching us. She watched you while you made love with, to her daughter, said Halas, uh, clearly impressed. Didn't she say anything? Meow. <laughs> so corny. Uh, I guess this is like in true tradi tradition of like a joke book. It's mostly racial humor here. What do you call a wood elf who doesn't lie uh, or cheat or steal? A dead wood elf. Yeah, this is like, uh, some stuff is copy and pasted from actual joke books. Alright, uh, fair enough. Let's go find a good book to read. Let's see if we can find the other, uh, War of Bethany. Okay, we finally found a copy of the War of Bethany. Let's, uh, read this one. It's a, the alternate copy from what we read last time. Could there be a better proof of the natural perversity of Bretons than their conduct before, during, and after what history will remember as the War of Bethany? By the most depraved of motivations, the most despicable, despicable of tactics, and the most ungentlemanly of triumphs, the Kingdom of Daggerfall changed the nature of warfare in the Iliac Bay and perhaps over all of Tamriel. In Sentinel, we call the recent carnage the Siege of Bethany, but as the Book of History is rich by the victors, let us speak of it instead of the War of Bethany. Redguards by their nature are a modest and practical people. We are not phlegmatic like the High Elves, nor cowardly like the Wood Elves and Khajiiti. 
But what would infuriate and enrage the swaggering, vainglorious Nords and Bretons would not merit a shrug from a Redguard. Had any Breton kingdom possessed the little island of Bettany, it would have been covetously guarded. Bettany's trade would have been seriously restricted, its religion subjugated, its people bound by captive and constant pledges. Uh, I'm sorry, by active and constant pledges and duties of vassalage. But Bettany was not a Breton dominion. Bettany was a part of the kingdom of Sentinel. King Lysandus, may the old ones continue to torment his soul for his wickedness, saw the prosperous island which is closer to his land than to Sentinel, and his black heart turned to avarice. Through threats, lies, acts of piracy, and finally invasion, Daggerfall illegally took possession of the island of Bettany. His court sorceress, the Lady Medora, his enchantress mother, and the other experienced counselors were horrified by the brutality of his campaign and begged him to abandon his tyrannical act of war. Gradually, all dissenters were removed from court. None but the ignorant and the warmongers remained. Our late King Cameron tried to employ civil diplomacy with Daggerfall, but in the end, he made the former declaration of war. Daggerfall and Sentinel have fought many times in their 2,000 years of coexistence, and Cameron knew the black magic and espionage that Bretons considered honest warfare. Never debasing the Sentinel character by duplicating the Breton villainy, Cameron knew best how to combat Lysandus. King Lysandus' uh, knavish tac uh, battle tactics. Whoops. King Lysandus' knavish battle tactics, tactics were even more perfidious than his ancestors, and the war continued to rage until it uh, began to involve more than Sentinel and Daggerfall. Lord Gradock, ruler of Reich Gradkeep, which is modern-day Anticlair, acted as consolator between Sentinel and Daggerfall, and eventually convinced both monarchs uh, to make peace. The ill-fated Treaty of Gradkeep began civilly. The terms of peace were discussed, agreed on, and set to paper. The terms were excessively generous. Cameron had agreed to give up some of his rights of, uh, to Bettany in order to placate the madness of Lysandus and bring peace back to the Iliac Bay. It was not until King Cameron read the treaty he was about to sign that he realized the outrageous perfidy, uh, perfidy of the Bretons. The treaty had actually been purposefully miswritten by the Daggerfall scribe in a desperate attempt to trick Cameron into signing a contract different from the one to which he had agreed. The castle of Reich Gradkeep uh, erupted into a bloodbath and the war continued. The Battle of Kringane Field was the most tragic ending of the senseless war of attrition. The uh, Kringane Field is located in between the Yerorth Borland and the Rev uh, Ravenian Forest, where the armies of Sentinel and Daggerfall respectively made camp after the massacre of Reich Gradkeep. As the battle began, Daggerfall proved that she had some foul Daedric magical tricks left by blinding the Redguard army with a wall of mist. Lysandus did not have the opportunity to gloat over his cozenage for long, for the sure arm of the Sentinel Archer struck him in the throat, even through the thick, swirling fog. Lysandus' son, Gothrid, who had spent the battle in lugubrious relaxation, was crowned without ceremony and thereupon demanded a duel with King Cameron. Cameron was many years Gothrid senior, and though a superior warrior was exhausted from the endless warfare uh, the boy king had been spared. Nevertheless, as a point of honor, our king agreed to the duel. The new king of Daggerfall, by dirty trick and black magic, managed to backstab our king before the duel ever began. Thus, the victor of Kringane Field in the War of Bettany was Daggerfall. Daggerfall's wickedness continued even after her inglorious victory. While the widow queen of Sentinel, Her Majesty Akorithi, mourned and tried to mend her shattered lands, Gothrid demanded the Princess of Sentinel as a hostage, war, a hostage of war. To save the homeland, the Princess Abakai agreed to leave Sentinel and even marry the murderer of his, her father. But we, true Red Guards of Sentinel, know where her love and honor lies. The Queen of Daggerfall is the Princess of Sentinel first and foremost. Uh, it's been a while since I've read this um, this take on the War of Bettany, and it it kind of paints the marital relationship that you run into at Castor da uh, Castle Daggerfall in a new light. You know, you you go there just to get a quest or two, and uh, it seems like things are amicable enough, but it makes you wonder how uh, Queen Akarithi really feels about her marriage. Uh, also, they seem to be embellishing a bit here, but uh, about the um, the whole black magic and dirty trick, like perhaps uh, King Cameron was just weary from the battle and Gothrid had not actually participated. Of course, um, 
both accounts are no doubt riddled with lies and um, uh, propaganda. So it's hard to tell what happened that day, except if you've progressed in the main quest a bit, you'll you'll know a bit more about what happened to uh, King Lysandus anyway. Okay, um, so yeah, there's another lore dump for you. Uh, thanks again for watching everyone, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.